Do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how simple it is to add cover art to your USB RIP game so they show up properly inside the OPL program like a .9 or a .8. So how do you do this? First thing is if you go to the main website, opl.sksapps.com, and then go to Download Gallery, we have these different cover arts. So let's take a look for today's tutorial on the game cover art, for example. So on my particular hard drive, which is connected to my PC, which is then using a crossover cable, I have three games on there, GTA San Andreas, Beautiful Drill, and also Okami. So if we take a look at, um, let's just take a look at an example game like Okami. So I click on O, find Okami, and then what you do here is you basically click on the download files and it's going to download the zip file. And you open up the zip file and you basically extract it to your art file. So basically what I'm trying to say first is you have a game, go to the website, find your game cover art and download the cover art as necessary. And also while we're still here, let's go take a look at the themes too. So we go to themes here, they have different themes you can use and download. So go ahead, select whatever you want and download the themes and you're good to go. So you have these zip files on your computer, now you need to extract them. So if you go to your USB hard drive or your thumb drive or whatever you're using, to share your games for your PS2. This is the contents of my external hard drive which is connected to my PC which is then using a crossover cable. You will notice that I have these different folders. So the main one is the art folder and yes it has to be capital letters. We take a look inside the art folder we see that I have dumped these pictures here which I got from the website and I also have a background image here. So that's where you dump your cover art. You basically put it inside the art folder. Now, if you want to install themes, make sure you have a, a directory called THM, create it, capital letters, yes, it must be capital. Inside it, dump your extracted theme files from the website. They come in as a zip file. I want you to extract it and leave it like this. And so when you go inside the ice, it looks like this, for example. This other theme has this type of background, and then that's it. And I think that's pretty much it for this first half of the tutorial. Pretty simple stuff. I'm assuming you already know how to rip games, so now I'm just teaching you how to add art to your games. So with that said, let's jump straight into the second half of this video tutorial. All right, so here I am inside OPL.9. So to help save some time, let's go ahead and go to the Ethernet and press X to start loading my games, which is a USB hard drive connected to my PC that's using a crossover cable. And this particular game partition, I only have three games. Anyways, we see that GTA San Andreas has a cover art on the left-hand side and right-hand side. Okami has the cover art. Beautiful Joe has the cover art because I could not find a disc image at this point in time, which is fine. So that's how you do the images. That's how you know it's working because you have named your image file correctly and you dumped it inside the art folder. Okay, so let's say you want to change the theme, right? So let's press start. Let's go to display settings. Press X. Press X on theme. Let's change it to ice. Press X. Go down to um, OK. Press X. And then go to save changes, which is fine. Press circle. And look, the theme is different. Sweet. So, but notice that Every theme is a little bit different, so I can't really tell if this is the Ethernet. If I go over here, it's empty, but really it's a USB. If I press X, you will see my USB games here. If I press right, we see that this is actually the Ethernet. But you wouldn't know from the default theme there like that. If I go back to display settings, let's select my other theme called OPL. Go OK. Save changes. Circle, circle. And look, we have a different theme here. It doesn't look as nice as some of the other themes, but hey, go to the website. There's a lot of different themes you can download if you want to. Go ahead and make your own theme, make your own background, make your own cover art, whatever you want to do, and become the new PS2 boss, you know, be the PS2 king or the PS2 queen. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe, so hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.